hello everybody good morning so hello friends let me just me brief me myself uh, regarding my career and my profile myself amarnath lakha basically from hyderabad and uh, i had uh, a career growth with respect to instrumentation so i passed out in the year 1994 from bangalore university and uh, studied in sit tumku that is sidganga institute of technology so during my days when we were in college just let just i would like to share that we could not even have the books to read uh, and we used to get uh, one book from iis in bangalore or from drdo and we used to make Uh, the xerox copies of that 60 to 70 xerox copies of one particular book and we used to share among ourselves so those were the days when we, we didn't even have the books with respect to instrumentation but on today's date we have the internet facility and by clicking uh, we can get all the information with respect to instrumentation you can get so this is the just i just wanted to share you So I started my career after 1994. I joined a sugar plant, Bidar Sa Kare Sakre Karkhane, a 3,500 PCD plant where we basically crush the sugar cane, and the main process is filtration, then sedimentation, then uh, we have the pan section. where the boiling takes place and then there from there the syrup is sent to the centrifugal stations and from there centrifugal station the sugar is produced this just it is a brief introduction of uh, what is the sugar process like and uh, there also we have the instrumentation application where we have the power plant we have the uh, we have the, the steam generation mm-hmm. So this is with respect to sugar plant. And from there I changed my career because unless and until we don't have the field experience, I don't think it will be halfway gone. So I changed my career from there to to the EPC part, the direction procurement and commissioning. So I joined Enfab Industries Private Limited, which uh, undertakes basically the pilot plant projects. of ICT hyderabad so i used to do the erection part where i could learn the what is uh, how to do the routing of cable what is the cable size what is the tray size what is the hook up of the instrumentation how the drawings we have to uh, study p and id drawings and how the erection of the field instrument takes place and how the panel erection is done and comes to part also uh, i could learn over there so after uh, one and a half years of experience over there i shifted my career from there to uh, balarpur industries it is basically a pulp and paper industry so here i could get a vast experience of instrumentation where i could get the experience of dcs plc field instruments uh, even the control walls different types of control walls so here just i would like to brief you the process also see the wooden chips of the club trees or uh, ashoka plant are made into chips after sending through the chipper section from there it is passed on to the digester where we add some chemical and uh, by giving the steam so the chips are cooked over there for a period of 8 hours and the pulp is produced this pulp is having some lignin content so this lignin content has to be removed so it is sent to the washing section and from there it is sent to the bleaching section and from there again after bleaching we get the white color pulp and this white color pulp is again transform to the sheeting section where we get the uh, sheets of white color sheets which can be even sent to main uh, paper or 
grey threads that is the natural threads we can get through this pulp. So here I could uh, learn what is the uh, uh, PLC logic manager of Honeywell uh, and I can I could go through this PDC 3000 in days in those days uh, the VCS was Honeywell PDC 3000 there and we had all the instruments of Rosemont made, ABB made, Yokova made and we had a magnetic chromator as some of the instruments. So we have the boiler section over there, turbine section over there. So this was the basic instrumentation applicable over there. And from there I shifted my career from Balarpur industry to the Koda Ash plant in Gujarat, Gujarat Heavy Chemicals Limited. There I joined as assistant manual instrumentation, worked for three years. So this soda is basically uh, used for manufacturing of glass. This is a Dalmia group. From there I shifted to again Renoka Sugars. And in Renoka Sugar I joined as head of the department of instrumentation. There worked for three years. There I could uh, get the opportunity of working on Siemens DCS and uh, the profit bus based systems. Basically, in the coffee bus based systems, where we have only one single cable and we can hook up up to 28 to 32 transmitters in one single cable. So, the cable is, uh, is a cable is, uh, but the importance of the cable is that if one particular cable fails, all the 28 uh, transmitters just fail. So it is on one single cable, we say that we have saved a lot of cable, but one drawback is that even if one cable has failed, the, all the transmitters get failed. So these are the, some of the best of coffee bus the advantages. We have the IC, AASI and uh, that is for digital based systems, I could learn over there. So there the refinery part of sugar, there only raw sugar is brought in from Brazil and again the process takes place and even grade high quality sugar which is for uh, uh, is sent to basically Gulf. So this type of sugar we used to manufacture over there. So there also there is a lot of instrumentation there where uh, we find. From there I shifted my career to KSK Energy Ventures. Basically this is in the uh, production of uh, power, so IPP with uh, Lafarge India Limited, so there I joined as head of the instrumentation. We have uh, turbine, we have the DM plant, we have the utility plant, we have the boiler, uh, we have the, uh, we have the 86 megawatt uh, uh, DHL turbine, IJT based uh, boiler, CFDC boiler and Fermax boiler. So there also you can find uh, application of uh, instrumentation like uh, DMS burner management system, we have the turbine control, we have the turbine supervisory control system and we have the, the um, CMS control, uh, continuous energy monitoring system, those instruments and some of the instruments applicable in uh, utility like for measuring the pH, conductivity. So these are the basic instruments we used to calibrate and we used to calibrate the control valves, we used to, to keep our uh, lab uh, with respect to structure compliance. So these are the basic things we used to do. So in, in overall I can say that it is uh, a good field where uh, there is ample opportunity to grow and uh, I wish you all the best. And, uh, I think in total of 18 years experience, I would like to share if I meet you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.